The bids came in, the price climbed higher, thousand upon thousand, all for charity and all for a hat. But not just any hat, of course. Cast your mind back to a certain recent wedding. A prince may have been marrying his beautiful bride, but for many fashion watchers, this was the real talking point. Princess Beatrice, the Queen's granddaughter, arriving with something rather strange perched on her head. The internet lit up with people wondering what the Philip Tracy design creation actually was. Was it a door knocker? Perhaps an octopus? Maybe it was a toilet seat, a cat flap or a pretzel? Could it even be a set of antlers? On London streets, memories are still fresh. I'm going to show you a picture now. Uh, you might remember, you yes, might remember this. Is. What did you think of it? Disgraceful, utterly disgraceful. Why? I think we should be ashamed of them because it's so absurd. I mean, everybody had been saying from taxi drivers to everybody, she looked like a clown. We were just commenting that, that they looked like, like um, Cinderella's stepsisters. Looks like a reindeer. A reindeer? Yeah. Uh, the antlers, you mean, kind of yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah. And I presume that's, that's not a good thing in your eyes. It's interesting. But regardless of the debatable merits of that hat, Philip Tracy has plenty of famous admirers. His creations are worn on catwalks and red carpets the world over. He's a designer considered at the top of his game. That strong reputation has helped Princess Beatrice's eBay sale fetch such a high price all of it to be channeled through her Little Bee initiative to UNICEF and Children in Crisis. Princess Beatrice may have received a rather unfair amount of criticism for her style choices, but in the end she's made a lot of money for her charity. And let's face it, in the world of hat design, she could have gone a lot wilder. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, London.